pay more. <laughs> I love the bargain, but you have a problem. You've seen our faces. You have the same problem. You've seen mine. <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Jean Pod Van Dam cast. Yes, we are all done with our Jean Pod Van Johnson special edition of the Jean Pod Van Dam cast. We hope you enjoyed that as much as we enjoyed reviewing it. It's been a while since we've sat down and actually reviewed something that we thoroughly enjoyed. Yes. Not to say we don't enjoy Van Dam movies, but like Van Johnson is just one of those that. I feel is going to stay in my heart for a while. You know, like I, I'll look at it on the same light as I look at like Bloodsport and Kickboxer mm -hmm. and, and the old ones. Well, I mean, even if you're not a Van Damme fan at all or have never seen one of his movies, you could just watch it and be thoroughly entertained. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like exactly. it's just, it just is fine on its own. It doesn't, well, it does. I mean, it jokes about his career, but it doesn't rely on his career or inside jokes to be a good show. Right. Yep. Yep, that's the right way of uh, putting it. So we are moving forward with 2012 Six Bullets, this rated R, one hour and 55 minute action crime drama. We're getting back into <laughs> yeah. uh, late Van Damme films here. Right back into it. And guess what? It's in Eastern Europe. An ex-mercenary known for finding missing children is hired by a mixed martial arts fighter whose daughter has been kidnapped. That's That's a good... Little synopsis mm -hmm. of it. Very succinct. That's, that's right. We have Jean Claude Van Damme playing Samson Gall, Joe Flanagan playing Andrew Faden, Anna Louise Plo Plowman playing Monica Faden, Charlotte Beaumont playing Becky Faden, and uh, Steve Nicholson playing Inspector Vitko. That's that's basically it. Uh, Chris Van Damme's also on this as well. He plays. I I don't know how to even say that name. Selwyn. Selwyn Gall. Uh, he plays Van Damme's son, actually, <laughs> like in the film. Yeah. Uh, Bianca, Bridget Van Damme's in it as well. Uh, she plays Amalia. She is the photographer that uh, basically steals mm -hmm. the girl. The uh, only cast member that doesn't have an accent. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joe Flanagan, you might know him from Stargate Atlantis or Ferocious Planet or Thought Crimes. He has a familiar face. Yeah, he looked familiar. I don't know him from any of those, though. <laughs> My parents are big Stargate Atlantis fans. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. So they would know him. Yep. Ah, he voiced Elliot Salem from Army of Two. Oh, no kidding. And, uh, Never played game. those games. Oh, they were fun. They were fun. I liked them. Oh, he was in Fringe uh, for one episode. Oh. Warehouse 13 for one episode. Okay. That's, that explains a familiar face. Yep, yep. All that sci-fi. Yeah, a lot of TV sci-fi. Yep. Dawson's Creek as Vincent for two episodes. Oh, that was it. it. Murphy Brown, one episode. How old is this guy? 50. Is he really? Yep, that's what it says. Wow, he doesn't look it. No, not at all. Not at all. He looks good for his age. Mm -hmm. And Anna Louise Plowman, you might know her from Black Sails as Mrs. Hudson. I knew that she looks she, familiar. Yeah, she has another, yeah, Holby City, I don't know what that is, and Stargate. Which Stargate? SG-1, Dr. Sarah Gardner. Quite, yeah, that's, uh, we're getting a little Stargate convergence here going on. Yeah, man, what's going on here? Oh, you might know her from Six Bullets as well. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Who, she played uh, one episode, Diana Goddard. Ugh. And Shanghai Nights. The there we go. The Foreigner, Meredith Van Aken. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Did you see that movie? No, I don't think so. It was good. Was it? Yeah, it was, it I really enjoyed Seagal, it. Seagal, right? Yeah. Now, uh, wait, I was thinking of the one with uh, Jackie Chan. Wasn't oh, that the movie called The Foreigner? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, Steven Seagal plays Jonathan Cold in this. Wait, I'm thinking of a different movie yeah, then. Yeah, you're thinking a different one. Maybe they both have the same name? Probably. I know the working title was The Chinaman, but they, <laughs> for some reason, they had like, to change it. Eh, let's change that. 
All right. This movie is directed by Ernie Barbarash. Writers are Chad Law and Evan Law. Uh, uh, Brother Law. <laughs> <laughs> and do we have a tagline? Do we have a tagline for it? It doesn't look like we have a tagline. Oh, man. I think the tagline is... Don't oh, go to Eastern Europe. We do have a tagline. Yeah, uh, uh, seriously, man. <laughs> this is like uh, Hostile without all the creepy violence and stuff. Too. Yeah, no, no torture porn in this. Nope. The tagline, the greater the sinner, the greater the saint, which is really crazy because the movie opens up with a quote that could have easily been the tagline. Yeah. Which, let's get into it right now. It says, modern day slavery is big business. I once saw a child sold for six bullets and I did nothing. That. That could have been the tagline. Mm -hmm. We open up at some strip club prostitution place. Van Dam sporting a goatee. He's been motioned to go upstairs. The guys check him out with the metal detector. They find his money clip. And this is where it gets really creepy. We see some old guy with a little girl. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they check out his username, young at heart 69 <laughs> Just waiting for Chris Hansen to show up at this point. Yep. They go back and forth about paying, seeing the merchandise. He's like, it's the his first time in the country. And he's like, that makes me nervous, the, the <laughs> other guy. And we see that the merchandise is a little boy. Oh, God. <laughs> this is where you just like, uh, uh, you know, as a parent, this shit sends shivers down your spine. Uh, the guy tells Van Damme he found out that he's been hired to get the kid back. Hot damn, Van Damme takes all these dudes out after that. Acid to the face on one guy. And he does it all with a knife. Yeah. <laughs> Steak knife, too. Yeah, man. Van Damme finds the kid, tells him he won't hurt him, that his mom sent for him. He's going to take the kid home, and they start to escape. He's like, you like fireworks? And the cars start exploding. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, he's sleeping when someone calls him to tell him to come somewhere. He shows up at the scene of the place, you know, the crime scene of what just happened last night. It's all wrecked. And uh, the guy's like, this, this is what you do? It's what I do. I vet the child out, and uh, the cop shows dead children to him. Yep. One was 14, one was 10. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was graphic, it was, too. Yeah, it was. It was tough to watch that. Guy tells him to stick to what he knows and leave the police work to the police. It's six months later. You would think he'd be more careful about blowing up a building that he already saw had children in it. Yeah, right. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Like, he knew that there was other children in there. Like, hey, come on, man. Oh, well, you know, you can't uh, make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. That's true. <laughs> you don't, Are these kids' parents paying him 10 grand yeah. each? No. <laughs> Come on. Someone is taking pictures. Next up, we see of uh, this little girl while her dad is taking photos of her. And uh, that's when I'm like, oh, I think that's Van Damme's daughter who's mm -hmm. taking the photos. Bianca's taking the photos. We see that Van Damme is a butcher as well. And he also just wears one glove when he's butchering meat. It's traditional in Eastern Europe. Yeah. And he also sees dead children staring at him through the shop, <laughs> yeah. which is also uh, traditional in Eastern Europe. <laughs> Van Damme really does not paint a happy picture of Eastern Europe at all. No, nope. like, no former Soviet bloc country is. Oh, I know a man. place to go on vacation yep, no or thanks. business or for any reason whatsoever. No, not at all. He takes a swig of the good stuff, then another for good measure, and uh, then we see a cage fight. And we see that it's the dad of the little girl. You know, they want her dad to fight some dude there. And and is it Bulgaria? Is this on Bulgaria or is this in a Moldavo? Nameless? Is it? I, I, I couldn't remember, remember what. We've if, seen if, so many Eastern European I countries. <laughs> I can't remember if they actually gave a name to the place or they not. They mentioned it, what country it was. I think they I said think it was right. Moldava, Moldava and that yeah. they speak Moldavian, but it was actually a dialect of Romanian or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can't recall. They do blend together. Yep. Not. Eastern European countries, but... No, just the <laughs> Van Damme movies. Van Damme's movies, depiction <laughs> of Eastern Europe. Yep. Uh, the daughter is afraid for her dad fighting, obviously. She steps out onto the balcony where she meets up with the girl who was photog uh, photographing her earlier, and they talk back and forth. He steps outside for a second. I think he ended up taking a shower. He comes back in, and he's like, she isn't there. He sees a note saying she's gone for ice and be back in five. He leaves her a voicemail, and then he starts going to look for her. It had been over five minutes. Can't find her anywhere. Next up, we see a place being raided. The news shows her missing. Van Damme is watching the news, and he sees that the couple walk into his butcher shop. Van Damme says they are closed, uh, says that the man they are looking for is no longer there. Uh, they're like, cut the bullshit. We know it's you. And he's like, hmm. no. He basically tells them, no, they leave. He looks at the paper of her missing. And then he sees the dead kids again. 
Chris is there talking with him. He's from the embassy. Chris got a job with the embassy. I don't know how, why, what, when, or why, <laughs> how. Moving on up. Yeah, I'm man. just glad he's not in a life of crime anymore. I know, man. Seriously. So he's, happy he's, for him. He's a good cop. I guess after around. being killed all those times, he finally. Yeah, he realized his ways, the error <laughs> of his ways. We're back to the dead. He's in the red light district asking people if they've seen his girl. Meanwhile, Van Damme is looking at a photo album scrapbook. Uh, a lady tells him, this gypsy lady tells the dad <laughs> that she has seen the daughter in some peep show, Golden Girls Club. And we get the how you say, uh, <laughs> typical like foreign, I don't speak English line. Uh, when, when he goes into the Golden Girls Club asking the guys around. And the guy is just asking to get beat up. He's being a total asshole to the dad. Mm-hmm. And the dad puts up a fight. He gets in a big fight with a bunch of guy, but uh, but there's too many of them. They beat him up. All of a sudden, the lights shut off. Someone comes in with night vision goggles and kicks butt. It's Van Damme. Yeah. Night, <laughs> the night vision goggles are great. Yeah, man. I loved it, and it didn't even look like it was dark in the room at all. Like it just looked like like people weren't even looking like they couldn't see either. They weren't even waving around. They're all coming right at him. Right. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that was the funny thing about it. He's in night vision goggles, yet these guys can see. <laughs> Ah, well. So they're back in the butcher shop talking. Now they, uh, I thought they were at the embassy. They're talking with a guy about their daughter, but it, it was the, it was the head cop actually. And he knows that they hired Van Damme. He tries to basically warn them, you know, like. Doesn't mention anything doing... about him killing kids or Right, anything. no, yeah. He, just, <laughs> he doesn't like, want to mention that. He's yeah. just like, oh, hey, uh, you might not want this guy. Uh, Van Damme next is shown dressed up as delivery man. He gets through this gate. He tells the guy to sign for a package. It's the old needle in the pen clicker bit. <laughs> knocks the guy out. He goes to click the pen, and it's like, needle, ow. <laughs> knocks knocks him out. Guys start shooting up the truck uh, that's driving towards them. It stops. There's no one inside. Van Dam caused a distraction. He's inside this nice mansion. He has the monitor guy all tied up with tripwire all over the place with grenades strapped to the guy's chest. <laughs> so when the guys open up the door, they see it, and they're like, uh-oh, and they close the door, and it clicks <laughs> all the pens. Yeah, you think you just pens. leave the door ajar, like stick a shoe in it or yeah, something? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no, no. Who cares what happened? <laughs> Causing an explosion, kills the guy. Oh, that was nasty. Meanwhile, the like the boss dude of the area and another guy are trying to escape, but they get gassed by Van Damme. <laughs> so this boss guy, we don't know exactly who he is. He gets tied up. And uh, we see that Becky is carved into his midsection. <laughs> Van Damme gives no fox. Like, even if this yeah. guy had nothing to do with it, Becky is now carved <laughs> into him. Van Damme is questioning him, uh, saying uh, Russians are threatening him. He tells uh, the guy to get the girl back. If not, he will carve out his eyes. Now we're at a club, and some guy burns passports to these girls and tells them to strip. He's getting really creepy. Uh, he gets a phone call. It's that boss guy, and uh, Van Dam is tracking the call to find out what's going on. Chris gets a call from Van Dam, and he's like, I need a GPS track on a cell phone. Uh, we see now that it's the same guy from that club, and now has a chainsaw and some weird poison liquid that we're not <laughs> sure what it is. Van Dam's daughter is really busting this guy's chops. Yep. Uh, and, and this is where I didn't quite catch the line, but it sounded like the defense secretary or whatever wanted the girl. It was like someone bit high up yeah, wanted this girl. I believe it was, uh, or I think it was, the, yeah, it was the head of their secret police or something. Yeah. And, and, uh, Bianca is just like, come on, man. Like you got any balls, blah, blah, blah. And the dude shoots and kills Bianca yep. and the other guy that was in the room. The daughter is handcuffed to a pipe in the bathroom. She screams as we zoom in on this dangerous liquid. Uh, Van Dam arrives with the cops at the place now. The cops tell him to see for himself what happened. The handcuffs are there, and it's an acid bath with a dead body in it. They are checking the DNA now to see if it is her. Van Dam sees the bracelet on the body, and uh, it's the bracelet that the little girl is wearing. They're at the hospital waiting for the results when the doctors say it's her. The mom slaps Van Dam. The dad just stares him down. Chris reassures him it's not his fault, but the parents go and start packing up. Van Dam and Chris so, go back to the butcher shop. Quick side note: Is uh, people getting dissolved with acid going to become a new trope in Van Dam movies? Because I hope so. I know, man. Right? I I guess when you're in Eastern Europe, you <laughs> yeah. know, do as the Eastern Europeans do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Van Dam gets mad at his son, tells him to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> his son comes back in and grabs the gun just for good measure. Good, Chris. Good yep, job, man. He's a good son. 
Van Damme's drinking. He sees a dead kid. Uh, he falls on the meat slam. I started <laughs> laughing, even though that wasn't supposed to be funny. <laughs> Something tells me that's not sanitary, but he's going to sell it anyway. <laughs> he gets up, and that mob boss that he carved Becky in is behind him with his guys. They whip him they and use tell him a cat of nine tails. So. <laughs> yeah, man. It gets kind of crazy. They use that. They use a chain whip while he's getting... Basically, the shit beat out of him. Van Damme realizes something about the bracelet, and we get a nut punch. Yep. Haven't had one of those in a while. Sun comes in and saves him. All the dudes are dead. Sun shoots him up, basically. And Van Damme says to his son, I need you to drive after his son had been shot. (laughs) (laughs) They get to the airport, and Van Damme tells the parents it was a setup to look like the daughter died, but she's still alive. Because... They're wearing the bracelet on the, on the wrong, wrong wrist. Yep. And like when he asks, doesn't you know, doesn't she always wear a bracelet on the left wrist? And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like my daughter just died, man. Please. <laughs> no, so Van Dam kidnaps the doctor that confirmed that she was dead. <laughs> There's a lot of torturing going yeah, on. Yeah, man. This movie. The mom grabs the doctor's dick. <laughs> and is like squeezing it. And the bad guys are talking after finding out about the butcher, uh, aka Van Dam. And uh, they're doing this while they're shooting skeet, and girls are in their underwear pulling the clay pigeons. Yeah, I'm literally shooting skeet. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, something that I wish I could do. That was, that was a, a fun... Could you imagine that? Being there, a bunch of... Oh, hell yeah. Scantily clad women. <laughs> you just say pull, and she pulls, and the clay pigeon goes off. You're shooting. Fun, fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Absolutely fun. Eastern Europe might be a good, good yeah. trip to take. Uh, looks like... Know. Yeah. Looks like a happening place. You just yeah. don't... Just don't get sold into slavery. Is right, the big thing. exactly. That's all I got to watch out for. <laughs> Van Dam gives them a gun to the, uh, the parents. The mom knows how to use it. He's like, "Do any of you know?" She's like, "I do." You know, like, my, my dad, dad was in army. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just kept thinking of Arrested Development. Yep, <laughs> these are my uh. medals from army. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, the daughter is alive. She's in a weird makeshift prison cell. Uh, Van Dam is talking to the honest cop, like the head of the cops. He leaves when the guys in black suits start coming out to look for him, which was really weird. Yeah. Like they like, started looking for Van Dam. That came out of nowhere. Uh, so Van Dam takes off. Uh, the head girl left the prison door open to go get more girls, which this made the teenage daughter walk out to the kitchen and grab the phone. Yeah, this is kind of a convoluted yeah, escape this is, one. Yeah. It's like, why not just book it out of the... Yeah, yeah this is, it gets really <laughs> Run weird. to a cop. So she has the phone. She calls it to uh, hear her own cell phone, and she goes, and she's in a room full of other people's stuff. So obviously this trade has been going on for a while now. So she hides. Guy comes and looking for her. He passes by. She calls her dad. You uh, would, on a side note, you would also think that they would shut off her phone so that they couldn't track it right, or anything. Right? Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, this is yeah, that makes sense. I realized too, even in 2012, she had a smartphone, and I was like, okay, this like these phones basically just came out. You mm-hmm. know? And uh, I just that's I was really surprised with that that they didn't just turn it off, but. Uh, well, then the movie would have, you know, had a bad ending. Right, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, she uh, is talking with her dad now. She wants them to get to her computer to track her phone. So they do so. They find out where it's at. Guy comes in, says the phone, sees that the phone was taken off the charger. He starts freaking out. Meanwhile, they're searching for her phone, find out the location. The guy goes into the room, grabs her, and takes her back. Meanwhile, Van Damme and Chris are in a graveyard digging up guns. <laughs> <laughs> this movie, you could really tell, like, I don't know. It really reminded me of, like, Taken. Did Taken come out before or after this? Uh, I want to say before, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, I guess... It reminded me a lot of John Wick, too, but John Wick definitely came out right, after, after this. Right, after this. Yeah. Let's see. Taken came out in 2008. So, yeah. Wow, that was, was that, that was long before. ago? That's yeah. nearly 10 years. I know. That's crazy to think. We are old. Uh, that's true too <laughs> very old yeah young at heart though so the dad and mom decide to just go to the prison on their own and it's like what a terrible idea yeah so they go the dad jumps the dude they get info and then he snaps the dude's neck <laughs> <laughs> classic mma move yep that's what i always did when i train <laughs> uh now they have guns and she has a silencer <laughs> So they go after what they think is their daughter. The guys capture them, but get killed by Van Damme. Like, he shows up out of nowhere yeah. and kills them. Total ninja. And then the mom saves Van Damme from another dude. She kills that dude. 
the dad at this point has become an expert at using an AK-47. Yep. They find another girl. She tells them where they took her, the daughter at. They unlock her. And then there's a crazy firefight where Van Damme <laughs> throws a smoke grenade, takes all the dudes out as the main guy watches via camera. The reinforcements are coming in, but Van Damme has a bazooka. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> he shoots. The parents throw grenades. It's another firefight with bigger weapons. Uh, this time, the bad guy is negotiating with the dad, said he'll give his daughter back if he gives them back that girl. Oh, it was vicious. Mm -hmm. uh, he's like, to show you that I'm not playing around, he cuts off the pinky of their daughter. Yeah, yeah, for real. It wasn't like a bluff for like, you know, they act like they're doing it. No, they just totally nope, cut off her pinky. He did. He did. What? I mean, like. Why, if he valued that girl so much, why did he leave her as bait? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it made no sense. Yeah, man. They could have just know. had them running around into an ambush without her, but whatever. Yeah. They come out. The girl has Becky, like the the lead girl who is watching over the jail. Uh, she has Becky. They, the exchange happens. The bad guy wants his guys to take out Van Damme and them, but Van Damme kills them and then makes the dude watch a camera. He's like, look at the camera. And Van Damme put like a weird tracker thing on it where it made it just repeat the same footage over and over again. So yeah. it looks like Van Damme's sitting there being the lookout. But, but it's he... only like two seconds. Right, I know. Yeah, the <laughs> and then thing. there's like a static blip. doing the same thing, yeah. <laughs> kind of goofy. Uh, the police come in then and they take out everyone. And uh, girl... These are the good police, not the evil secret police. The girl that they exchanged, uh, she's inside with the other... Uh, the other lead girl, and she unloads the clip into the dude's head, the bad guy's head. <laughs> uh, Van Damme hugs the girls as the family hugs one another. Van Damme's son was the one that helped out to get the police involved. And, He's uh, a great embassy worker. Yeah, so was he, is he the U.S. embassy? To yeah, it? I guess so, yeah. Because his dad's in the French Foreign Legion. Right, yeah. But that could mean anything. Cause... That's true, too. I don't know. So now uh, the family is at the airport, and uh, well, before that, they say uh, the the main police officer that's been talking to Van Damme throughout the whole thing says, "I'm just glad you finally called the police." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so now we're at the airport. Van Damme and his son leave. Uh, we go to a church. Uh, the big baddie <laughs> is there, who is like in control, who's doing the skeet shooting and whatnot. He gets up to uh, go to confession. And he's, like, talking with them, forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. You know, it's been a while since I've last confessed. Uh, does God really forgive, basically, people who do bad things? And uh, the priest goes, God might, but I won't. <laughs> and Van Damme shoots the dude right through the grate. Oh, and then that's pretty, the yep. end. That was amazing. That's that a ending. great ending. What Such a, a classic action movie ending. Yep. Like, oh, yep. man. That was, that was a great ending. So I'll, I'll give it that. Yeah. So out of uh, our split scale, what do you think you would give this? Well, I would say, even though this has become it's such a trope, the, like the entire movie is very much a modern Van Damme movie, it was definitely a step in the right direction compared to some of his other films. Yeah. Like, it seems like they're finally getting the formula right. Right. Yeah, exactly. They're kind of, which is weird because this is just like an everyday overall action film, but yep. it actually is pretty decent. And- the only thing that I would take away from it is it's way too long. Yeah, cut out half an hour. Seriously. So for me, I guess if, if for my split scale, if you cut out that half hour, I would easily probably give this a 7.5, maybe even an 8, because, you know, it was it was fun, but, like, that half hour or, like, or the almost two-hour movie, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, gosh, man. <laughs> you know, and I... I Got to look at it. Will I watch the skin? I'll be completely honest. Not really. I'm yeah. not going to like, seek it out. So I'd probably give it a 6.5. Yeah. Same here. Maybe a 7. Yeah. Yeah. It, it teeters around there. Because it was good, though. Like mm -hmm. you said, it just, at that time. The action was good. I mean, uh, it wasn't badly made. It wasn't poorly made. There wasn't right. anything that was glaring other than nitpicking, you know, tropes that are in pretty much every action movie of this type, anyways. Right. Yeah. No, man. No. So. Yeah, there you have it. Now, getting on to the trivia here, it looks like we have an, just an okay amount of trivia for Van Damme's later films. Uh, although the movie depicts the situation in Medolva uh, in Eastern Europe. Ooh, that, I got it right. right. Hell yeah. yeah. And the action is set to take place there. Ironically, not a single scene was shot there. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, the title refers to an assertion that in the world of human trafficking, human life is so cheap that a child can be bought for six bullets. Christopher Van Varenberg <laughs> plays Jean-Claude Van Damme's son. Uh, he also played the younger version of Van Damme's character in the 1992 film Universal Soldier. We already knew that. Why would you put that in this film? Mm. That's weird. Both the actors who portrayed the kidnapped daughter's parents also played prominent characters in the Stargate universe. <laughs> On Stargate Atlantis, Joe Flanagan played Lieutenant Colonel John Shepard, the highest-ranking military officer in Earth's expedition to the ancient city ship of Atlantis. <laughs> On Stargate SG-1, Anna Louise Plowman played Dr. Sarah Gardner, a former flame of Daniel Jackson and later host to the Guala system Lord Osiris. Sorry, guys. Sorry, can you tell we haven't watched? We love the movie. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. So there you have it, man. That was Six Bullets. Up next, we are into 2013, meaning we're getting closer and closer. This is Welcome to the Jungle, where Van Damme <laughs> plays Storm. From X-Men? Yes. Wow. X-Men. Yep, yep, definitely. All right. Thank you all so much for listening. We truly appreciate it. If you would like to donate to us, patreon.com slash podbros. Or if you use Amazon to do your shopping, Amazon, use our link, podrose.com. Scroll down. doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us out in the long run. You know the spiel by now. All right, guys. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm John. And I'm Jeff. And you have been listening to another episode of the Jean Pod Van Damcast. Jeff, you aren't wearing your bracelet on the left hand. <laughs> Does God really forgive? Good night. I won't.